Are you looking for an easy way to extract the background of your Astro image? Then look no further than Graxpert. Graxpert is a one-click background extraction machine. Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today we're gonna to be talking about an AI-driven method of background extraction called Graxpert. Now Graxpert, the newest version, is able to be integrated into PixInsight so you no longer have to remove the image from PixInsight, put it into Graxpert, extract the background, and then put it back into PixInsight for further uh, processing. And you no longer have to deal with all of the samples that you did with dynamic background extraction. Just a click of a button and your background is extracted. Now, a little bit of word of caution, I wanna be completely transparent. The developers of Graxpert cannot guarantee the compatibility and quality on older versions of PixInsight. So make sure that you check requirements. And if you wanna try it out on uh, an older version of PixInsight, you're more than welcome to do so. The good news is, is Graxpert is free, so you won't be wasting any money on it. Now, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. We still got a lot of stuff to cover in this channel. Now let's head on over and learn how to download and install Graxpert and use it for easy background extraction. To download and install Graxpert, the first thing you're gonna do is go to your favorite web browser and go to google.com. Once you're at google.com, you're gonna go ahead and search for Graxpert. You may or may not see it pop up if you don't just continue typing until you do. When you see Graxpert, go ahead and click. Now there's two ways to do this. The first way to download is off of the Graxpert website. You can go ahead and click the link. When the home page pops up, you'll see your uh, operating system choices. Choose your correct operating system. Click on the links. And uh, you should see, depending on your system, a downloads box that pops up in the top right corner that looks like this. You'll see Graxpert start downloading and more times than not, you'll get a message stating that the source is not trusted and will ask you if you would like to uh, trust the source. If you wish to use Graxpert and get it downloaded, you're gonna have to um, trust the source, follow all the prompts that your system asks, and once done, you'll see Graxpert download. Now, once uh, it's done downloading, you're gonna wanna take note of the um, location. So you'll click on the little file folder and more times than not, it'll go into your downloads uh, file. And um, you're gonna need to know exactly where it went. So make sure to take note. The other way to get Graxpert downloaded I used GitHub. So you'll go ahead and click on the GitHub link. And if you have any issues with installation from Graxpert, try GitHub. And then vice versa. If you have any issues with GitHub, try Graxpert. You'll come down and scroll to the latest and greatest, 2.2.2. Locate your operating system. Go ahead and click on the link. Again, you'll see Graxpert um, Start downloading in your downloads window, depending on your system, should be in the top right corner and look something like this. Again, it uh, more times than not will send you a message that the source is not trusted. Would you like to trust it? And if you wish to use Graxpert, go ahead and trust the source, follow all the prompts that your system asks, and take note of where that file went. More times than not, it'll be in the downloads. Once uh, it's done downloading, you're gonna go ahead and double click on um, the file. It'll bring up your um, installation wizard for Gra uh, Graxpert. You may or may not get a window that pops up in the center of the screen that asks if you would like to allow the application to make changes to your device. If you get that, just hit yes and follow the install wizard. At the very end, it should give you a uh, file path as to where it put the actual Grax, uh, Graxpert app. Now, once uh, that is complete, take note of the file path for the Graxpert app. And uh, if you have issues finding it, you can just go ahead and for Windows users, go to the search bar at the bottom, type in Graxpert, 
and you can either use the open file location or you can go ahead and right click and open file location. This bit of advice is for when it comes to installing in the Pixen site, I would recommend taking wherever it's saved to, right click and cut, and then put it into an easier folder to locate it. For me, it was program files. Once you're done with that, go ahead and open the actual Graxpert app. And when it opens, your stretch options are going to be no stretch. Uh, so it's going to look something like this, okay, with some possibly minor differences, which we'll get into in just a moment. We're going to load an image for right now. Let's go ahead and load uh, Andromeda. You're going to apply an appropriate stretch. And if you've seen my Pixinsight workflow videos, I mentioned how it's important to uh, crop out any stacking artifacts. That's important when you're using dynamic background extraction. It's even more important when you're using an AI model like Graxpert. You can see the stacking artifacts on the left side of this image here. Now we're going to do crop. We're going to hit the plus sign, crop mode on or off, and we're just going to go ahead and apply a quick crop, just for example's sake. Hit apply crop. It's very important to do these steps prior to installing in the Pixen site. Okay, so make sure that you're following along with this. Um, once the crop is applied, we're going to come down to interpolation method. This may or may not be grayed out for you. If it's grayed out, go ahead and click. You're going to end up getting a box that asks if you want to download the AI model. Go ahead and hit yes. You're going to need that AI model. You should have a little progress bar that starts going, um, showing the progress of the AI model download. Once that's done, under interpolation method, choose AI, and then click Calculate Background. And once uh, Graxpert is done, you'll have an extracted background. And you can view the process, you can view the original, and you can even view what was extracted. You only have to do this step, what we just went over, you only have to do that one time, but it is necessary for Graxpert to work within Pixinsight. Once all of this is done, we can exit out of Graxpert, and we can head into Pixinsight. Now, under script, we're going to need the toolbox. And how you get that, we're going to go to resources, updates, manage repositories. And this little link right over here is what gets you the toolbox and also Graxpert. So I'm going to have this link in the description of this video. What you're going to do is click on that link. And that'll bring you to a site that looks something like this. That's okay. It doesn't matter what the site says. All that the purpose of that is, is to allow you to be able to actually copy the link. So let's run through this. Once you have that link copied, you're going to go to resources, updates, manage repositories, add, paste that link into the box, and then you're going to hit OK, and then OK. Now, I already have this done, so I'm not going to do it again. Once you hit OK and OK through all of that, you're going to go back into Resources, Updates, Check for Updates. At that point, you're going to see a box that pops up with all of the available updates, the one that we just put in included. Unfortunately, my system's up to date, so we're not going to be able to see that, but you're going to see a Select All in the bottom left. Click Select All. Hit OK. Um, Pixinsight may or may not restart. If it does not restart, go ahead and exit out of Pixinsight. And then it'll ask you if you want the, uh, the program to be updated. Hit yes. Um, you may or may not get a box that asks if you want to allow the application to make changes to your device. If you see that, just click yes. Uh, if Pixinsight does not restart, go ahead and reopen Pixinsight. 
And what I have found in order for Grexpert to um, fully work is that you need to exit back out of PixInsight and then restart your computer. Once your computer's restarted, reload PixInsight, and then you should have under script, toolbox, Graxpert. Now, this is where um, putting Graxpert into a easier file path comes into play. We're going to click on the wrench, hit no. And then what you're going to do is under this PC, wherever you put Graxpert, in my case, program files, we'll click and then hit open. And that's going to tell PixInsight exactly where to find Graxpert. Now, let's see it in action. I have a couple of images here. I have um, M31 Andromeda, and I also have IC1805 Heart Nebula. Now it's very important to have your stacking artifacts cropped out. Both of these images already have my stacking artifacts cropped out and I already have the initial star correction done on the images. If you need help getting to this point, check out my Pix and Set workflow videos. I go over step by step exactly what to do. Now in those workflow videos, you'll just simply replace DBE with Graxpert. So, since this is already cropped and initial star correction done, all we're going to do is script, toolbox, open up Graxpert. In fact, before we do that, I want to clone this. Now let's go to script, toolbox, Graxpert. This is where you need to kind of be careful. Smoothing uh, is really the only adjustment in this. And Graxpert can rip out structure. So it's important to check out your background model and then look at your final image. For now, let's just leave it at default, hit the check mark. PixInsight is going to um, go through Graxpert and then extract the background. You no longer have to pull the image into Graxpert, do the extraction, and then pull it back into PixInsight. It all is um, integrated now which is really nice. Sometimes this can take a few seconds to run. That's okay. We're just going to let it do its thing. There we go. So here's our background model. Let's go ahead and open before. And then when you're looking at your background model, you just want to make sure you don't see any structure and you also want to compare your image to the original. Now, let's go ahead just for argument's sake. Let's leave I see 1805, I'm sorry, M31. We'll let that go over here. Let's use the clone, go back in the script, toolbox, for expert. Let's crank the smoothing and let's rerun. There we go. There's our background model. And you can see there's a little bit of differences in these. In other words, with the smoothing factor all the way down, we are actually a little bit darker. It did a better job here in the corners. You just got to be careful. Just make sure that um, you're not ripping out any structure. Grexpert is capable of doing that. Now, let's go ahead and clone IC1805. Script, Toolbox, Grexpert. Let's go ahead and bring smoothing all the way down. I like to have the show background model checked. Let's go ahead and hit the check mark. And as you can see, IC1805 has a lot of color gradient in it. Let's see what it can do. Again, sometimes it takes uh, a few seconds. And again, IC1805 has had uh, the stacking artifacts cropped out and initial star correction performed.
There we go. There's the model. Let's uh, exit out of that. And here's the before and after. It did a pretty good job of stripping out a lot of that, uh, the color artifacts. But it also left the structure alone. It actually is, it has done a pretty good job. Now, let's go ahead and minimize this one. Let's reclone. We'll minimize our original. Let's go to Script Toolbox for Expert. And let's crank the smoothing factor and hit the check mark. And it's all going to be about playing with the smoothing factor, what works best um, for the data set. Now, once this is done, we're going to go ahead and compare the two and see which way worked best. There's the background model. Let's exit out and let's compare. On the right is the smoothing cranked all the way up and on the left is the smoothing all the way down. And that's really all that it takes to uh, download and install Graxpert and use Graxpert. So I hope that you found that helpful. Uh, do me a favor, that channel icon that just popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any future content. And uh, drop a comment in the comment section. What questions do you have? Are you currently using Graxpert? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.